Approaching Livingston, we had the grandstand view of Victoria Falls below us. The Royal Livingston Hotel is as far removed from a bush camp as you can get. The wildlife sightings were still to be had, just wandering the grounds. David Livingstone was a Scottish missionary that came to Zambia in 1855, 16th of November. When he came, the falls were not as we are going to see them today. They were very, very dry. He only saw the water on the Livingstone Island. So he decided to measure the length of the falls and the depth of the falls. He ride on a rock, tied a string on a bullet, threw it into the falls, and found that the depth of the falls on the Devil's Cataracts was 92 meters deep. On the Zambian side, which is the Eastern Cataract, is about 108 meters deep. From the Eastern Cataract to the Devil's Cataract is 1,708 meters wide. So the force makes it the largest curtain of falling waters in the world. The force gets full in April to about June. And from about August to about December, January, February, it's a little bit drier. And it takes a good three, three months for it to completely fill up because of the the catchment area of the river Zambezi from the source to here, the falls area. So when the falls are full, we have about 550 million liters of water per minute falling into the blink, which is about 9 million liters of water each second. So you can imagine how much water falls into the falls. The spray can go to the atmosphere about 500 meters high, which can, see, can be seen away from Livingston down about 70 kilometers when the falls are full. Boma, or barbecue, is a great way to sample some of the more exotic dishes of Africa. On the grill, next to the chicken and beef, was crocodile and kudu, both of which were absolutely delicious. Makuni village, home of the Leia tribe, was on the agenda for the morning. Makuni means a giant tree with a lot of branches. Indeed, Chief Makuni presides over his chieftain, comprising of 110 sub-villages, with Makuni as the capital. So the water from the tanks will come down through the pipe up to the top here. This came in 1997 as help. To say that life is simple here would be wrong. In fact, life here is very complex, with the daily struggle of existence taking center stage. Husband, wife, they use the big hut you see here as bedroom. Then they've got three girls who are using this place you see here as their bedroom. Uh, on top of the three girls, there is a boy, and he's got that place as his bedroom. Whilst the women take care of all the labor, the men folk of the village handle the crafts enterprise. And I do mean enterprise. 
if you are interested in buying something. Then uh, you go about uh, negotiating for price. Prices are not fixed. So if uh, you are not that used, you just give it a try. You negotiate like that. A vast range of handcraft items could be had for a price. What that price ended up being was as much part of the experience as anything else. 52. Okay, do this of 52. What about 45? What's your best, madam? What's your best? 25. What that's, about, that's, my best, that's my best offer. What about 35, madam, please? No. Okay, now I come down. I, I just say, please, you make it 40, okay? 40. No. 40, madam. I say 20. If 20 is too much, you are afraid to tell me how much you can offer. Souvenirs acquired, we headed into Livingston to see a different kind of market. The Maramba main market is where the locals can find just about anything they need. At your place, you only use it for <laughs> barbecue. Yes. But here, there are people who don't have power who use charcoal for, for their cooking. However, it is a little bit expensive to use charcoal because it's expensive also to get. But if you use electricity, it's a bit cheaper. Recycling more a necessity than a nicety, it was amazing to look at all the handmade items created from previously used resources. That's where you find that you make some plates, some pans for baking, that is handmade. I think you go and see them, how they make them. Locally made, they get sheets from vehicles, if you leave your car carelessly, They'll cut the sheet and then make something out of it. These are their workshops. A sunset cruise aboard the African Queen along the banks of the mighty Zambezi River was a welcome relief to end our stay in Livingston. Under a cloudless sky, we left the following morning to rejoin the DC-4, which was to take us into the northeast corner of Zambia, to the South Luangwa National Park. time spent in the air was a good chance for us to take stock of where we had been and what we had seen so far on our safari. 